I still can't get used to the phrase legal slave trade. This place is so crowded as the fairgrounds. So many noble went, noblemen. What am I surprised? What am I surprised of? It's the easiest way to satisfy their elite basic needs of power and perversion. Not wrong. The old dog is sitting there. Do you want to visit him? I'm in a hurry today. He'll want to talk over a cup of tea, you know? I'll talk. I'll take much time. Hate myself. Ah, I remember those days when you stayed long. All right, I'll get inside to sign the documents and you can enjoy your purchase. But promise me you'll pop in later. He often talks about you. I'll be in the city for a couple days, so I'll come over to his place. For now, let's quickly finish with the documents. I still have many things to do. Sure, as you wish. You can have a look around the market. Maybe you'll find something interesting. Okay. Who is this guy? Is, is that the... Is that the dude? Why do they have to be in cages? It won't hurt to look around, but it's better not to attract too much attention. Do not talk with my... with slaves. Wait. What? Greetings, the Honorable Warrior of Sandy Flame. Greetings to you, the Honorable Warrior of, sweet, of Wetlands. I never heard from anyone of your nation such respect. I lived for several months among your tribes. Honorable Warrior. I can see a sing of my home... See a sing of my homeland, Honorable Warrior. The young Bonder told me to look after the free made slaves. Are they yours? Correct. I decided to buy them. I wanted you to look after them while I'm away. Um, sure. The Honorable Warrior, I appreciate your respect towards other traditions. And I promise to keep an eye on these ones. To make sure we have a deal, I'll give you some gold that will equal to your reverence to me. Then I won't take too much from the Warrior. Two gold coins will be enough. The reverence of our... our our hunts, I think, is manifested in trust in strangers. Two gold coins for protection. It's either a sign of respect or a hint at the fact that no one will look after the slaves. Our ends are difficult to understand, particularly for those who aren't familiar with the customs of their people. It's difficult to offend them, to offend them. But if you try to follow their etiquette and make a mistake, trouble will be inevitable. But there is a way to test it. You gave me too much. I can't take from a noble warrior so much. My people accepted you. I see it and means much to me. Thank you for your honesty. The honorable, war the honorable Warrior of Sandy Flame, I rely on you. I'll be back in a few hours, and I don't want my purchase to be gone or injured. I understand, Noble Warrior. I will look after them. Take my word, as the boundless sand of the desert is attuned till you come back. Oh, okay. Sure. Cool. Thanks for understanding. We'll return you the money, I promise. Glad to see you. Why didn't you tell them you were leaving your family? You were leaving your family. Shh. Mom, I told you. This is our... No, this is Cole. I'm glad you're alright. What's your name again? Josette? Nice to meet you. Um, yeah, but... Talk? The Honorable Warrior will, will step aside. The Honorable Warrior will step aside to talk. I'd like to have a private conversation with my slaves. As you wish, but I watch them. Thank you. Uh, what... Well, we can speak here, but please, not so loud. Yes. I didn't expect to see you with the, with Lady Josette and Aklorian in such circumstances. You can't imagine how happy we are. We didn't hope to have such luck. You've changed a lot. As soon as we got out of the we as soon as we got out of this, promise, you'll tell me everything. Everybody thought you died. You had to be punished for this. You have to be punished for this. Lady Josette, I'll tell you everything, but don't forget you're still a slave, so hold the horses. Dot dot I see. Let's not attract attention with these talks. Vanity, I didn't recognize you at once. Almost seven years have passed. At the time, you always hid yourself behind your mother's skirt, and now there's a gorgeous woman. I feel ashamed standing in front of you like this. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I hope you're okay. Yeah, we are lucky to be caught by our slaver. His name is Arag, or Aragroot, or whatever. I was told that other slavers aren't so kind. Poor Louis. I hope she'll be fine. Louis? I met her at Bose. She was one of the slaves to go on sale. The other guild had sold her to him. If I'm right, nice girl. If I, Oh, yeah. She went through many things. I wouldn't be able to bear such humiliation. Don't worry. I'll think of something to help her. Oh, no, my lord. We've already caused troubles to you. I'll find you. I'll find her when everything gets better. I'll take time. It'll take time. So I'll check what I can do till she's sold to someone else. Okay, sure. Thank you, Cole. I heard Arton is closed now. That's why... Okay. 
I'm trying to read this stuff as best I can. The words are fucked up in this, so I, I, I go to read it and it messes up. That's why, that's why stay in Eclorian for some time. I'll find a place for you before I return home. Thank you for everything. Yes, I know about Artan. I hope our family's fine. I have some things to do, so let's talk after. Bo finishes with the documents. I'll come back soon. Okay, we will be waiting for you. Thank you, Cole. Okay, so we know them from years ago, I guess. Okay. I have a deal with the guard. He'll guard you until I come back, so don't worry. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Help, Lewis? I don't even know. Help me. I have children at home. Ah, oh, I feel kind of bad. Wait. Who is this guy? I feel a strange magic coming from you. Are you a foreigner? Kind of. I have traveled a lot around the world. I wish I could learn magic of other races. It's such strong. It's much stronger than humans. It's not only about the power of magic. I'm Varelin, Vir by the way. Nice to meet you. I'm Cole. You're right about magic. Once humans were the strongest wizards in the world. Times change. What is a wizard doing in a slave market? I have to work here as a guard to earn a penny. After a few law, after a new laws came into force, the usage of magic got under control. One more abnormal law? The new government restricts the rights of wizards. I don't want to talk about it. I see. I need to go. Alright. So mages have hard lives. Who's this guy? Nobody allowed to come closer to this slave. I want to take part in the auction. That's why I'm allowed to observe the lot. You don't understand. This one's very dangerous. That's why you can't come closer. Persuade. is in the cage, isn't it? I'll be careful. Moreover, I don't think you will refuse the opportunity to earn, gu to earn guard me. To earn guard me while I have a, while I'm having a look, how much? A couple of gun coins will be enough, I suppose. A couple? I can guard you the whole day for them. No thanks. I just need five minutes. All right, but money first. Wow, pure gold. I can rarely see it. Be careful, sir. The slave's dangerous. People say it's already killed some guards. I'll try to stay out of its reach. Okay. Is this? Is the guard joking? Is she really dangerous, slave? Hmm, nice girl. Could she really scare everyone? Hello? Are you okay? Oh, it's the fox girl from the menu. She actually has clothes on. Good. Hi. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, what? She looked at me and then she... Interesting. I met such creatures before, but they were not like her. Those were f Those were funny ones from the northern forests. It would be bad if one of them got into people's hands. Although those creatures are cute animals covered with fur and they are able to speak human language. Exotic lovers even marry them, but this girl resembles people more than animal despite her tail and fox ears. Can I... Can't do anything again? Okay. Uh... I wonder if the, sc if the scars on the guard's face were made by her, by her hand or claws. You have no idea what happened here just a couple of hours ago when her cage was taken out of the dungeon. She almost escaped, injured some well-built guards, and scared most of the crowd. Eventually, the wizard Virilian stuck her back into the cage with, a great, with great effort. Why do so many people want to purchase this savage, then, if she's so unpredictable? This question is easy to answer, young man. Local noblemen like everything else. Like everything else. Like everything unusual. Jesus Christ. Imagine what they could get if they tamed her. Taught her manners, or as, or as an option, put her at put her on arena she would make a significant profit because no one can match her in speed and agility what about the wizard who returned into the returned her into the cage was she able to resist his spells i wish you could see his pale face while he was while he was suppressing her with magic probably he was frightened to death to lose his magic ass if i haven't bought goods i would also take part in the auction such an outlandish creature maybe if you give her food she'll become quieter then i would put her on arena that's really sh wow. You're an asshole. Looks like the old man's a gambler. The arena of uh, the arena of Aclorian is a gambling place. I heard a lot from mother about my father, who squandered money there. As for this girl, I'll try to buy her if she isn't too expensive. Of course, I don't care about the arena, but the girl herself is very interesting. This feels, this feeling doesn't believe me, though I need to be ho I need to hold off, or I'll buy all the slaves in a fit of generosity. Find the mage and learn the details. Okay, so I'll go talk to the mage again. Ver, 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 Verlian, I think. You are the wizard who suppressed the slave that had intimidated all the people at the market, aren't you? Yeah, she's very dangerous. I hope someone will buy her and put an, put an absorbing magic collar. Such collars were forbidden for a long time, weren't they? New authority, new laws. You know it yourself. 
Oh, if I commit a crime, I'll use your words to defend myself. Maybe the guards will let me go at once. Was it a rhetoric question? Perhaps we've changed the subject. Tell me about the slave. Did you feel her magic powers? She's a monster, but no one believes me. They all laugh at me and say that I'm a coward. What exactly did you see, Virilian? I had a strange feeling. At first, there was nothing, but then I felt so much, pa so much, so much magic power coming from her, and she, it seems, started to change. I've never seen that. Did the magic start to change, or she? Both magic and the slave. For a moment, she became different. Don't know how to explain it, but I was frightened. For a single moment, I saw a beast from that le from the legends. From the legends, you say? Interesting. And no one noticed it but you? Right, everyone's mocking me for that. What happened after? If she had made a spell at that moment, I wouldn't be speaking to you right now. Fortunately, her magic faded and she fell unconscious. I put her into the cage by magic. Interesting. Thanks for the information. Do you believe me? I do. It's quite possible that you saw an unfinished transformation. People only see the result of the spell. Damn right you are. I'm losing my grip on the, at this work. That's the basis of magic. Thanks, now I feel better. But there's a li there's still a mystery about the slave. Who is she? I have no idea, but it's enough for you to know that she's dangerous. All the rest will be clarified one day. I can see you're interested in this girl. If you want to know where she's from, find Avery near the slave's platform. He works for, He works for her owner and knows where she was caught. Thanks for the information. It was nice to meet you. Nice to talk to you. I'm pleased to have I'm pleased to have met a wizard working with this dim-witted guards. I'm becoming like them. I need to change the work. Good luck. I think the wizards are more welcome in other cities at Ac cities of Aclorian than in its capital. For example, Arton. New lands don't spread too fast and aren't followed so strictly there. Thank you for your advice, Cole. I didn't expect to meet anybody to talk to. Good luck in your adventures. Thank you, too. I believe we will meet one day if you follow my advice. I've read of such things, con conversion, transformation, all of it's from the war with the de Havel. Many suppose it's their type of magic, but it existed long before their invasion. This girl became more and more interesting to me. So Avery, right? I need to find him. Okay, let's go talk to Avery, this dude. If you want to buy the slave, go to the auction or pay the owner the sufficient amount of money to please him. I'm only as a slave hunter. I was looking for you, Avery. Me? I heard you're working for Sir Abraham, and that slave in the cage belongs to him. Yeah, that's right. Tell me, please, where you caught her? Why would I tell you that? What's the point for me? What if you want to catch them all? I guess the sound of coins may change your mind? That's quite a different matter. I, res I respect such clients. A dozen of gold coins will be enough for the information I can give you. Isn't it too much? Let it be half of a dozen. Deal, to be honest, I didn't expect you to agree. Though you just fuck off. Thought you'd just fuck up. I want to buy the slave, so I need to know about her as I need to know about her at least a little. I don't want to deal with a pig and a poke. What? Though it looks like a fox and a poke. Who knows what's her better what her temper's like. Fucking Christ, why can't I read? Ugh I see. Alright. Give me three coins first, then you three more if you find my information useful. You're too honest for a mercenary. The slave causes only damage. She already injured about 10 mercenaries. My boss has many troubles because of her, but he thinks of her safety. He wants to sell her profitable to cover all the expensive. So she just isn't a harmless creature in the cage? Oh no, better to say a furious fox. Although it looks like she understands our language. I see, where's she from? You won't believe me, but we caught her in Ver Verdellen. Our boss, our boss bought the rights to hunt in the elves forest. One arrogant elf sold us permission for big money, and now our boss tries to make a profit off it. The elf told the elf told that we can find very rare species of local exotic creatures for slavery there, but he didn't mention that the species are so dangerous. Elves sell the permissions on capturing slaves? It's the first time I've heard about it. The elder elves of Verdellen are against the slave trade, but you can always find someone interested in it. You see, there are some persons who are ready to sell their relatives for gold. But where have those creatures come? Why? Where have these creatures come to for Verel... Verel Verdellen, Jesus Christ, forest from. I don't have a clue. You can ask my boss if you buy the slave. You'll see him anyway when you sign the documents. Thanks, Avery. Here's the rest of the coins. Thank you, and good luck at the auction. How much coins do I have left, by the way? Oh, I still have 7,000. We're fine. We're totally fine. Okay, uh, I don't know who the boss is. Well, that's the... Well, well, the gold has come. Um, I don't know. Is the old man here? No? What am I supposed to do? I kind of, I do want to, like, can I talk to her again? No? Okay. Uh, darling, buy me a new toy. The previous one wasn't working properly with it. Okay, so I had to sell it. Okay, wow. I have a whole collection of female slaves, one for each day of the week. They need to be treated well, and then they became tamed. 
Okay, you're a crazy rich bitch. What is with this lady? This random person that's just walking around. Recently, an Askian slave came into sight. Very handsome. Oh, okay, sure. This guy, you, old man. Lord, oh, this guy. Greetings to you, young man. Aren't my eyes fooling me? I'm happy to see you, my lord. Let me introduce myself. My name is Cole, and I'm a wandering adventurer. Oh, I see. I see I, I loved adventurers once. I'm Aaron Favel, representative of the Ar Arcuan Artist Aristocracy. There we go. On behalf of the King Lucius. I'm glad that such a modest person like me have an honor to meet a royal nobility. Can you tell me a little, about, a little bit about Eclorian's situation nowadays? After the death of King Tiberius III, the power passed to a successor from the Marin's family. Marin? How come this rotten family got to the throne? What about King Tiberius' son? Careful, Sir Cole. There are too many people who would be pleased to inform the King's Cerberus about anyone who insults the present authority. I see. Anyway, how come the king's son didn't become a king? It's a strange story. After the king's death, his son disappeared and nobody could find him as well as the Arcuan family. I've heard about his family. Soon, I'll return to, Ar I'll return to Arton. Arton. Yeah, there we go. If you happen to be there, come and visit me. We need to talk about much. The things, the things in town don't go well. We had, to shut the city to we had to shut the city to protect ourselves from the robbery coming from the province. Thank you for the invitation, my lord. I'll visit you if I'm in Arton. I really appreciate the honor. I'm glad to help you, young man. You have no idea how pleased I am to meet you. So, what have we got? Conspiracy in the court? A possible murder of the King Tiberius? A sudden disappearance of his son and almost all the Archon family? The main successors of the throne? And as the consequences, Marin's triumph to gain the authority? And the unrest in the suburbs of Arton? I need to know the details. So basically everything's fucked. That's why I didn't want to come back to Aclorian. Ac I need to ponder over all of it with a fresh mind. Oh, is the auction going to start? Finally! Jesus, that was taking for Edder. Jesus. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, who will give more? 600. 600, don't come to ruin. I don't think your wife will appreciate this kind of purchase. Let's rise their bets. I give 700. 700 from this respectful gentleman. Who can give more? 750. 700 and a half from an honorable lady. Gentlemen, who can give more? A thousand. It's getting hot here. A thousand from a well-dressed lord. Unfortunately, I can't see your face under the hood. Can, you any, can anybody offer more? A thousand and a half. Wow. A thousand and a half. I hope you have enough money with you, young man. Bets have just started. Why would I like to offer... Who would like to offer more? Young man, I certainly understand that you like this girl. But you don't look like a man who can carry more than a more than hundred of silver coins in your pocket. Don't worry about my pockets, honorable man. Mr. Barcos, don't insult our respectful client. He has already proved his paying ability. Oh, accept my apologies, young man. Good luck in the auction, then. By the way, Bo, when will you pay me for the goods? I'll peep in. I'll peep into Mr. Barcos. I've just got some gold. Glad to hear it, Bo. I'll be waiting for you at my shop. I see you fancy the savage. An interesting specimen. It would be a sin to miss it. Keep it. Simply fill in your name, and that's it. Oh, there we go. I see you got a I see you've got a taste. Come to my place from time to time. Maybe I'll find nice slaves for you. Actually, don't walk away too far. I want to have a talk with you about one slave. Ha! <laughs> I I like the way you do it. All right, I'll be here. So I need to save money on the hotel and the road home and for unexpected expenses. Oh, there were times when the amount that I there was times when the amount that I have spent today was my pocket money. Where are those days? In fact, you need so little when your life goes through traveling. Anyway, 3,600. Where did all that come from? Nice price, sir. I'm pretty sure it was still at 1,500, unless they've been auctioning in the background. If no one is willing to offer more, then it's time to end the auction. 3,601, two, three. Sold. Congratulations with a very expensive purchase. Please the winner. Follow me to the owner of the slave to complete the paperwork. You surprised me, Cole. Congratulations with your purchase. If only you saw the one of those who participated in the auction, he dropped his jaw. You legged up on everyone with your bit. Thanks. I believe it's not a waste of money. By the way, I heard you can't. I heard you have a slave called Luis, don't you? Luis, I think? I do. Do you want to add her into your collection? I'm thinking about it. How much do you want for her? Well, difficult to say. She's helpful and much more useful part from those two you bought earlier. She could do a lot of things. That's why I can give her for a thousand without thinking. Can do many things, you say. And what can she do for a thousand of gold coins? 
Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not talking about sex. She cleaned my house after she knew that Augur's loyal towards slaves. No doubt she's pretty, but I have a but I have a girl. I thought slavers are soulless bastards. Not all of them. Heh, <laughs> are you kidding? My girlfriend works as an accountant at Augur's. She's the most wonderful, faithful, and honest. She's a bit jealous, but anyway. Okay, okay, I believe you. I'm not going to buy your actual girlfriend, so stop talking so stop talking her up. Shall I pay a thousand for your slave's ability to clean the house or what? Well, I was thinking to leave her as a housekeeper to free to free my girl from household needs. It'll be hard to find another obliging slave like her. No doubt you've killed me with the price. Okay, I have another suggestion. You probably know that one of my slaves is on friendly terms with your golden housekeeper. Yeah, I know. Three of them lived in a cell. When we brought Louis, the little one became quieter and obedient, and I don't care about it. I see. Then how about this? I spent most of the money on that savage, so I can give you a deposit of 300 of gold. You can keep it. As soon as I have money, I'll return and pay a thousand for the slaves, but under one, the condition that she'll be alright. Let her deal with the house. Hmm. Good to know that there are still people who think not only about themselves in these dark times. Deal. I know you very well, so I'll keep her for you. Deal. I'll drop in this month. So soon? Nice to, nice to have business with you, Cole. As usual. Good luck at the auction. Now you know where you can find the most of the time. I'll see Augur soon. Maybe you can arrange a meeting with Lewis? I'd like to see the one I'm paying for. Sure, no problem. I'll be waiting for you. So basically, he put a deposit on her, which, again, sounds really terrible to say. Put a deposit on her so that she could stay there and work with him, but nobody else can buy her. Venity will be glad when she knows, I guess. Now I can go Now I can go to the action, auctionist, I believe, is with clear conscience. He probably got tired of waiting for me, and I need to settle up with the owner of the slave. Gosh, how did I butt, in, butt into all of this? I just intended to have a room in the hotel to have a sleep. It's better to comply with the sleep regimen. Otherwise, I'll buy a dragon accidentally. That would be really cool. They need to be freed and dressed. Brr. I'm not talking about dragons. I'll deal with the little uh, with it little by little. Okay, sure. Okay. All right, there we go. Oh, all right. We're actually going inside finally. Holy shit! Nice house, dude. Oh god, of course you're just some fat prick. Way hello, my dear guest. Come inside. Abraham is happy to see you. Nice to meet you too, Abraham. Call me Cole. Come on, there you go. Cole, nice to meet you. It's very quiet in here. Very glad. Such good purchase. Such a nice purchase. The teacher of manners, not to spoil gods. And all everything is good. Mm, respectable. It is a good business. My advice, buy these chains from me. Magical hold, everybody. Ha. The accent, the accent is so familiar to me. How did he get here? The southern lands are far. Oh, these days I was really tired of what way of speaking. Are you from Manav Manavara? Way, 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 dear man, did you was in our lands? I was just passing through it, but I liked your country. Yummy fruits and great pla palaces. Way, do not tell. Poor Abraham come here, want to trade to buy this place. Oh, how are my children there? Do you go there closest months? Oh my god, this guy cannot speak. It's kind of hard. Not yet. I just returned and not going abroad. Pity, very pity. Okay, respectable Cole. Now, Abraham, make documents. Not worry. Not very, I think is what he said. Abraham, she was treated well for that sum of money, I believe. Way, believe me, Abraham. Tried, wanted to sell her for more gold. He is so perky, sharp tongue, character very bold. All afraid of her. No, none go to her. She's very young. Strange laws in that place. I understand you know what she is. I haven't met anyone like her while traveling. I met some strange creatures in the north, but they were different from her. Way, if only Abraham knew interesting who she, but it, it is forest, far to the west from here. Respectable. You have documents? Yes, I do. Are they necessary? I'm caught. I didn't want to reveal my real documents. It was easier with Bo. He knew about, He knows only Cole, but I... Oh, yeah, because that's why I, I forgot that my, my actual name is Sardo. But I might have troubles with Abraham. It's better not to mislead him. Way Abraham needs to write about Ona. Before, no needs to do it, but now, new laws. The king thought of it. It is easier in Manvara, I guess. And no need to pay tax. So documents? Here you are. The laws have changed in a strange way. I don't remember anything like this to happen before. Uh-oh. Wait, wait, wait. Why didn't you say you're a respectable lord? Abraham didn't recognize you at once when you said name Cole. I remember your father. He bought slaves half a year ago. Many. Only mans, he said they are for mine for mines. Respectable man. Paid double price for every man. And the surname. Alas, I can't pay at double price and about the fan 
about the family name, you know, it attracts much attention. So let us not move away from the heart of the matter. Way, believe me, respectable Lord. Abraham, understand all good, but how I can call you now? If we'll meet at the slave market, you better not to mention my family name. But where does all this understanding come from? Abraham owes your father much, and you did so much to Abraham's business. The price for his slaves covers all their expenses, and I will... All the expenses, and I still have a profit. Abraham will write the way nobody can understand that it is you, Lord. I swear on my man, on my manna, Mama. I think is what he said. This is fucking hard to read. Chatter on slave possession. Car oh, charter on paper. Well, ready, dear. This is a document to prove your rights to have slave. Your signature and your money, please. Wow. Way nice to have a deal with you, respectable Lord. Take the documents if you want. Come again. Abraham always have a good have goods. Okay. Might as well save there. <laughs>